Welcome. You're watching BTW 21 News. Luis from our greeting you. It is Monday, so we have to get back into the groove of the uh, work week. Again, thank you very much for your company. A great weekend, uh, not too cold, not too hot. Of course, this in Staples has more during our forecast coming up in just a few minutes. But we first, we want to update you in regards to a story that was, so sh that was shared on social media, and that is uh, good news that the uh, Martinsville man that was uh, reported missing on Saturday has been found. And again, the Martinsville critically missing man alert was canceled. The Martinsville Police Department reported 73-year-old Azale Massey Jr. missing at around 1 p.m. on Saturday. Later on, Virginia State Police reported at around 9.30 p.m. after the case was turned over to them that Massey had been located and the alert was canceled. So definitely a good turn out there. Now attention to all of those Braxfest fans. Biscay Bill will open its newly relocated restaurant in Collinsville March 10th. The restaurant will serve guests at 3424 Virginia Avenue after moving from their 1706 Virginia Avenue location, which was located near the Villa Heights community. Guests are invited to sign up for a chance to win free breakfast for a year. That's great. You can head on over to btw21.com and click on this article for a direct link. Viscaville says it will award 10 entries by randomly selecting them on opening day. No purchase is necessary to enter and it is limited to one entry per person. The new location will feature large windows that allows guests to view Viscaville's biscuit making progress. Other features include a mural wall that highlights the local community, a two-lane drive through and enhance beverage area as well as free Wi-Fi and electrical access for devices. So that should be happening very soon and you will soon be able to get your breakfast if you're going uh, to work and hopefully this time it does not create a lot of congestion with those uh, two uh, drive-through lanes. And now we're going to be talking about a retirement and promotion that have been announced at the Henry County Sheriff's Office. After 44 years in law enforcement, Steve Eanes, Chief Deputy at the Henry County Sheriff's Office, is retiring. You know, I love coming to work every day. Um, it's been a blessing, and I still love coming to work. Uh, that's going to be strange, going to be different, but it's uh, it's just, they, they have, I've always heard that when it's time, you'll know it's time. And, uh, I, you know, it's I know it's just time for me to, uh, sit back and uh, enjoy my family, do some traveling and do some things, and, um, and I'll still stay busy. So, Major Eric Hairston will take over Ian's role. I, December, I turned 67. Um, March um, completes my 41st, uh, February 28th, tomorrow, completes my 41st year of service uh, in the retirement system. And I started fighting fire with the Accident Fire Department five years before. 79. So, you know, all total, I've been serving Martinsville and Henry County for about 46 years. Uh, my health is good. Um, I'm young enough to where I can go enjoy some things and with my family and so forth, and everything's running well here. Um, I have no doubt that Eric Harrison is going to follow right here in these footsteps and continue on and do a lot of things better than I'm doing them. And, and I have no uh, concern with it. Harrison has been with the Sheriff's Office for 30 years where he started out in corrections and was the first school resource officer in the county. Uh, something I always wanted to do, uh, serve uh, the community. Uh, ever since I was in high school, I always had a mindset of either serving in the role of law enforcement or making a career in the military. He says he is looking forward to the challenge of filling Ian's shoes. Well, I feel like I have some big shoes to fill uh, with Colonel Eanes. He's been here with us for 16 years as serving as chief deputy, and he's done a lot for our agency in terms of uh, finding grants and handling our budget and getting us the equipment we need to serve our community. And so it's a challenge that I'm looking forward to tackling, but I know that I have some big shoes to fill. Harrison hopes to continue improving the Sheriff's Office in his new role. I hope to be able to improve upon what we currently have. Uh, I don't foresee any uh, immediate changes in the near future, just maybe trying to build and maybe get more uh, grant funding and 
be able to get more equipment, better equipment, things like that to be able to support our staff here. So a big congratulations to both of you gentlemen, one on retiring, hopefully you can enjoy that, and another on a promotion, and uh, hopefully you can uh, continue to enjoy, you know, showing up to work every single day. I know that I do myself, so again, big congratulations to you both. We're going to take a quick commercial break. There's more news, so stick around. We'll be back after these messages. Hi, Barry Nelson here, GR Chevrolet in Stanleytown. Got you a deal, a 17-mile Bolt EV. Got 30,000 miles on it, only $379 a month with zero down and zero gas. Got you a deal. Got you a brand new Equinox, payment only $445 a month, zero down, brand new Equinox, all wheel drive, can't beat that. Got a 2020 Colorado, only 30,000 miles, $343 a month with zero down. Get you a pickup for a little down. Got you a brand new Buick Encore, all wheel drive for only $429 a month. That's a great deal on an SUV. Got the best for last, a 2020 Chevy Spark for only $239 a month with no money down, only at GR Chevrolet where everybody knows cars cost less. Are you looking for a realtor? One that is hardworking, honest, and knows the area? Also, willing to respond to phone calls and answer texts and emails on a timely fashion? Look no further. My name is Cameron Kolinsky. I'm a proud agent with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate, serving Patrick, Henry, Martinsville, and surrounding counties. I have experience with clients dealing in land, residential, and commercial listings. My top priority is customer satisfaction and making sure that my clients' needs and wants are met. Consider it sold with Cameron Kolinsky, Realtor with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate. Hey, come see us at Martinsburg Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsburg, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martins for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martins, River, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Get your time Best Wood Products has great buildings at great prices. We have a huge selection of sheds or custom order your dream building. Financing and rent to own are available as well as zero down for delivery. Stop by and get your building with quick delivery today. 10877 Virginia Avenue, Bassett, Virginia next to V99 radio station on 220. Call us at 276-629-5000. Blue Ridge Aquaculture is hiring both full-time and part-time drivers. Home every other night. CDL, Class A, and two years of experience required. Must be at least 21 years of age with a good driving record. Excellent benefit package including medical, dental, vision, life, short-term disability and long-term disability and 401k. Apply online at www.blueridgeaquaculture.com or give us a call 276-632-9440 to make an appointment to apply in person at 555 Industrial Park Drive, Ridgeway, Virginia 24148 during our normal business hours Monday through Friday 8 a.m. To 5 p.m. Welcome back. You're watching BTW 21 News. Again, it's uh, been uh, spring like, and I even saw some flowers in my backyard. And I know that Dustin's going to be talking about that in just a second about all of your weather. So let's turn it over to him now. Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology.
where relationships matter. All right, folks, thank you for sticking around here on your neighborhood network. I'm Dustin Staples. As always, we appreciate your company. Thank you for making us your number one daily news source. You check out for only Martinsville, Henry County's daily newscast. We hope you've enjoyed your weekend. It was pretty okay out there. We saw some rain today. We're going to continue to see a few showers moving in tonight. Temperatures staying in the 50s for us as you make your way out and about this evening. We'll see some passing showers beginning to dwindle down later on tonight for us. We'll see dipping lows in the 50s out there from time to time. So other than that, it's going to be a pretty nice and warm afternoon, excuse me, evening hour um, in the making for us tonight as we'll see increasing, uh, decreasing clouds overnight with uh, that in play. Now I want to quickly remind you that there's a wind advisory that goes into effect until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning for parts of Franklin and Patrick County. Again, higher gusts will be that typically up to 2,500 feet, so most likely our friends towards Patrick County will have that interference. Well, also parts of towards Fairy Mountain and Boone's Mill. If you go up towards outside of Bent Mountain, which is just outside of Roanoke County, higher you, the elevation you go, the higher gust you will see. Again, that will go until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Overnight lows tonight are going to fall in the 50s, low 50s for everybody. Chance of showers uh, again decreasing overnight. Turning breezy at times as well. We'll see west, uh, west suddenly flow in the directions coming into play tonight with your winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Again, tomorrow morning, wake up to some scattered clouds. Moving on into play with that, as you see, temperatures are also going to remain warm once more. So another warm day as we end the last day of February, which, by the way, we're now going down for the warmest on record. So keep that in mind. We'll see wind gusts also continue to pick up from time to time, 10 to 20 miles per hour to the north northwest. But a beautiful afternoon is going to be in play for us. So make sure if you do have trash day tomorrow morning or in the afternoon, make sure your trash cans are not going to be blowing across your neighbor's yard. So you should be okay with that. Let's jump you on ahead to your five day forecast. It's a very busy one, a very unique one to say because it's something I haven't had a chance to actually introduce. Sorry, I didn't mean to get interjected there. But something I've actually had, have not had a chance to introduce is that thunderstorms are possible. But anyway, we'll see sunny skies for Tuesday. We'll see our overnight lows remaining pretty mild as well as we welcome in the month of March. Hello, March is coming in pretty nice. And not so much there, but warm. We'll see scattered showers throughout the day on Thursday through the morning. We'll see a break in the clouds. Then again, we'll see another wave of rain showers and move in late in the day on Thursday, resulting in some heavy downpours possible for us. Friday is a potential interesting day. We have to keep a close eye on this because it's a very dynamic system. It's bringing snow to the north of the outside of I-95 and up towards the New England state. They're getting their possible first big snow of the season as it's been pretty dry out there. Uh, everybody's going in the middle of that snow drought. So they're going to be uh, maybe ending the snow drought uh, sooner than they think they are. Temperatures up there are expected to be in the 20s, parts of the northeast. We're talking about Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. Highs have only been in the teens and single digits uh, thanks to an Arctic air mass that has settled in on parts of northern New England. England that has been in play for them. So they're seeing the increased chance of some snow well to the north of us. We're going to be seeing the increasing chance of some storms moving in for Thursday and going into Friday. We'll have warm air, just enough warm air in place. It could potentially bring the potential for some severe weather later in the afternoon. So we go from the 60s to the, uh, the 70s to the 60s on Friday. By Friday night, we'll see this begin to clear out of here. We'll be left with plenty of sunny skies. They're coming in play at 63 degrees with lots of sunshine. So welcome to March as it is a transition month. As you know, the meteorological March begins on Wednesday. The first day of March uh, of spring, excuse me, is March 21st. And the way things are going right now, things are looking interesting as we do head into mid month as there are some drastic atmospheric um, changes going around. So Mother Nature may be getting her dose of winter for our neck of the woods, we shall see as we do get closer to mid-month. So on that note, enjoy a nice spring afternoon tomorrow and on Wednesday before the heavy rain, possibly some severe weather moving in for us by the end of the week. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life 
Here at Zipmeyer Chiropractic, we are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zip My Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mountain Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-647-5555. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. You're watching BTW 21 News. Thank you very much for sticking along with us for the 30 minutes of news. We have no sports to cover today, so we're going to switch it right on over to your crime report by Apex Bell Bonds. Herman Ashley, 70, of Axton, Virginia, charged with simple assault. Vicki Bowers Martin, 59, of Collinsville, Virginia, charged with false statements on criminal history check consent form. Alexander Finney, 32, of Philadelphia, Virginia, charged with strangling another causing wounding or injury, simple assault against family member, intoxication in public, Damaged telephone line or intercept message, and contempt of court, failure to appear. Daryl Martin, 51, of Ridgeway, Virginia, charged with burglary of structure to commit larceny, grand larceny, and trespassing with the intent to damage property. Janet Mayhew, 27, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Ava Simmons, 18, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Nicholas Staples, 40, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with simple assault against family member. Kevin Brown, 31, of Roanoke, Virginia, charged with convicted felon, possessed concealed weapon, and disobedience, resistance of an officer of the court.
Ra 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 ra. Pete, Christmas is over, son. I ain't talking about Christmas season, Dan Man. I'm talking about tax season, aka car buying season. And PVT Inc. down there in Field Hill got 50 11 cars to choose from. They got big cars, they got small cars, they even got medium sized cars. My tax check was a little light this year, Pete. Well, that's okay too, Dan the Man, because they do finance. Like PVT Inc. on Facebook and ride by 4264 Appalachian Drive, Field Hill to view inventory. 50 11 more cars are coming in daily. Learn about the latest COVID 19 treatments. If you're feeling sick, you've got options, including treatments that may reduce the severity of COVID-19 symptoms and hospitalizations. That word from the Virginia Department of Health. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-8771. When you slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to BTW 21 News. Obituaries by Bassett Funeral Service are next. Elizabeth Roberts Lockhart, 85 of Bassett, passed away Thursday, February the 23rd, 2023. A viewing will be held from 12 to 1 p.m. Tuesday, February the 28th at Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. A funeral service will be conducted at 1 p.m. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Linda Starkey Warren, 81 of Axton, passed away Thursday, February the 23rd, 2023. Visitation will be held from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Tuesday, February the 28th at Noise Funeral Service in Martinsville. A funeral service will be held at 1 p.m. on Tuesday, February the 28th. Online condolences may be made by visiting noisefuneral.com. Juanita Mahan, 91 of Martinsville, transitioned from this earthly life to eternal life Thursday, February the 23rd, 2023. A visitation service will be held Thursday, March the 2nd at 11.30 a.m. The funeral will be held at 12 p.m. at Hirston Funeral Hall. Elizabeth Ann Harris, 64, of Martinsville, passed away Monday, February the 20th, 2023. A graveside service was held Friday, February the 24th at 12 noon at Mountain View Cemetery. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. 
Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Darrell B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. How'd they take care of you today, sir? Excellent, man, excellent. They're always good down here. They'll take time to go through and help tell you stuff you don't know if you have questions. And believe me, I've asked them plenty of questions. How long have you been coming here? Two or three years. I've seen ads, I've heard people talk about them, clean lot, come in here, get out without them too much fear of having flat tires. I've been on some places where it's like, oh man, it's gonna cost me more than I'm gonna make. West pays more, that's for sure. So that's gonna wrap it up here for this Monday edition of BTW 21 News. As always, we thank you for your continued company. Make sure that you stay updated on our website, btw21.com, and our social media pages. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. But that's gonna do it for now. We'll see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Fast Track, the region's premier business trade show, is back. Join the Martinsville Henry County Chamber of Commerce and countless exhibitors as we celebrate Open for Business. Fast Track will be located in the clock tower at the Commonwealth Center and boasts a unique floor plan with three bays of booths. Open to the public night is Wednesday, March 8th from 4 to 7 p.m. Admission is $2 or two non-perishable food items. Thanks to all of our sponsors and we will see you at Fast Track. Hi, Barry Nelson here, Nelson Honda and Martin, one of my favorite bands. It's a Honda Elite Series. It's got everything and plus 3.9 financing. What the deal? We've got a 2022 Hybrid Accord. That's a really popular vehicle. And this car is going to be priced to sell. Come get it. One of the best sellers in the world, a brand new CRV with 3.9 financing. We've got a brand new 2023. Honda Civic, brand new body style at Nelson Honda, plus 3.9 financing. Got you a real deal, got you a great price, and 1.9 financing on Ridgelines here at Nelson Honda, where everybody knows cars cost less. Are you looking for a realtor? One that is hardworking, honest, and knows the area? Also, willing to respond to phone calls and answer texts and emails on a timely fashion? Look no further. My name is Cameron Kolinsky. I'm a proud agent with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate, serving Patrick, Henry, Martinsville, and surrounding counties. I have experience with clients dealing in land, residential, and commercial listings. My top priority is customer satisfaction and making sure that my clients' needs and wants are met. Consider it sold with Cameron Kolinsky, Realtor with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate. Best Wood Products has great buildings at great prices. We have a huge selection of sheds or custom order your dream building. Financing and rent to own are available as well as zero down for delivery. Stop by and get your building with quick delivery today. 10877 Virginia Avenue, Bassett, Virginia. Next to B99 Radio Station on 220. Call us at 276 276-